And our next fight of the night is going to be Luis Rodriguez taking on Denise Bondar. Uh, Luis Rodriguez, very solid everywhere in my opinion. Solid BJJ, does look for some takedowns but won't really hunt for them that much. Kind of a striker, plods forward and will try and find the finish on the feet. Has some good hooks and I, I watched a fight where he just at leg kicks for days and kept coming forward so this guy can eat good leg kicks all day. And then on the other hand we have Benice Bondar, more of a grappler, not really that tactical on the feet. Was completely outstruck by uh, Carlos Hernandez in his last match up and you know lost to Malcolm Gordon so that's never a uh, never a good sign even though it was a bit of an injury but yeah uh, I I'm gonna side with Luis Rodriguez this matchup's kind of hard to pick to be honest this it's a very hard pick kind of a short breakdown uh, I think that Luis Rodriguez is gonna be the more dangerous fighter and will be the guy who will be landing the harder shots which I like I uh, Especially in a flyweight fight where, you know, damage is going to matter a lot in these kind of, these close decisions in my opinion, which I do see happening. I don't think Denise uh, Bondar's uh, style is going to be able to win him a lot of fights in the UFC just because I just think it's grappling or bust for him, wrestling slash grappling or bust for him. I think that Luis Rodriguez, if he is taken down, he can work himself up uh, off his back with his submissions and find sweeps from there and get up, get himself back up on the feet and start landing the bigger shots on the feet. Because if it, if this is on the feet, I think he wins this fight all day. So I'm gonna go with Luis Rodriguez by decision in this matchup to land the harder strikes over the three rounds and yeah, give me Luis Rodriguez by decision in this matchup.